When you go back to those early years, who were the biggest influences on you and why? Yeah, the biggest influence was my dad. We always played football, he always encouraged it. My mum always made sure that we did our own work before we went out and played football. But yeah, obviously my, my family's a big football family. Two brothers always kicking each other in the garden. That's where probably my first memories of football came. And then playing for Brumsmere, the Sunday league team. From there I went to Barnsley where they was going in administration, I think, at the time. So I ended up going to Sheffield United and obviously. Through there, build my way up and um, keep moving up the ladder and, and, and coming from the bottom to being the captain of Manchester United, which is a, a proud, proud moment. <laughs> sources are telling us that Harry Maguire has made it clear to Leicester City that he wants to join Manchester United. Yeah, they was, they was both interested, spoke to Manchester City and I spoke to Manchester United, but I must say I've grew up watching Manchester United teams, Old Trafford, the iconic of being one of the biggest clubs in the world, if not the biggest, so I, I always had my heart set on this club. And I can tell you that Harry Maguire has now signed for Manchester United, what is a world record fee for a defender. We understand the fee is £80 million. Pounds. All right. You know, he's an English player, he knows the Premier League. Um, he had a good pre-season. He was just waiting for uh, the moment to join United. I think uh, he has to play. United needs uh, a good central defender and uh, difficult to get better than him and adapted like he is, so. It's a real deal uh, for me. I think character, his, his qualities he has, his reading of the game, um, when you think the way the game's evolved, where it's never been more important than it is today for a centre-half to be able to see the picture and be able to deliver what he sees, you know, the accuracy, the actual pass. The accuracy. So I think in that respect, he'll make a big difference to United. He'll, make a, he'll have a calming effect on the rest of the team. And I would expect him to have the influence that Van Dijk has had at Liverpool. I, I think he's a great signing. I'm surprised City didn't break the bank to get him if they could have a bank that could be broken. But I, I think he is, I think he is sensational. I think he's everything you want in the centre half today. I didn't go at a young age. I didn't go without bad experience, without failure, without relegations. And I've obviously learned and played in these big games at the World Cup, which obviously was a, a big part of it as well. I had to go into the team and, and make sure that we improved and improved each year. And we're doing that, but like I say, we've still got a long way to go. But and more in terms of off the pitch, has he got those leadership qualities that will mean he could become a Manchester United captain? He does, definitely. He's, uh, he's already uh, been in my head, actually, thinking about him as a future captain. Because, he's, as you see, on the pitch, he's a leader. He stands on the ball when, he, when we need to slow it down, he defends really well. We've got this presence in the box, two boxes. But off the pitch, as you said, he's, uh, he's a top, top professional. He's vocal. He uh, voices his opinion uh, before training in the, in the dressing room and I'm very pleased with the money we spent on it. People always ask me how does it feel to be Manchester United captain and obviously it's a, it's a huge honour. It actually doesn't sink in, I think it probably will do, maybe when I lift that first trophy. I used to think there was a massive expectation from the other players thinking he better be good. Did you feel that expectation when you went in just because of the enormity of the price tag? I mean, 80 million quid is an incredible amount of money. Of course, when you, you get bought for that amount of money, I put the pressure on myself to make sure that I go and, and perform and, and, and be selected week in, week out. Huge amount of money. 
I must say, when I did sign, I was in a good place. I was in a good place with my game and, and the confidence within myself and the belief within myself. So I had great confidence that I could go into Manchester United and play and improve the defence. on the pitch, off the pitch, and as a team as well, that's probably the, the biggest thing I, I feel now. It's, it's more about as a team than my individual self, because if I'm playing well, then I'm helping the team, and, and, and the main focus is winning trophies. Corner floated in and headed in. Oh, wouldn't you just know it? Headed in by Harry Maguire. Tears with the latest delivery. It's a magnificent equalising goal from Harry Maguire. Foden's corner, deep one. Stones down to Maguire. To fire England back in front. This is Harry Winks. Inviting ball for Maguire. And England lead. Use that freedom. Oh my goodness me, has Harry Maguire's first goal for the club. Ten minutes gone, and Manchester United lead with a real scorcher. Maguire coming in. Harry Maguire at the back post, and it is 2-0. Set up, Martial was in the Maguire! 